Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the second tutorial of Spark AR and this is me, Fir Hanif. Uh, we will be adding a 2D object uh, to the face tracker and I will show you how to do that. So, okay, let's go jump to the new project. Let's go create it right here and we will be searching up. So, as you can see on the upper left corner uh, where you can see the device camera you will probably need to add um, a face tracker so go ahead and add an object face tracker right here so on the face tracker you will be also adding a, another asset so that will be a plane that will be a plane so let's go ahead and add that and let's make sure you drag plane right below the face tracker right so we right we have it right here so for a second let's stop uh, the animation so it doesn't disturb us uh, the person movement will not disturb us right here so we can go ahead and then, like, stop right here and let's click on the plane and using this three do you see these three buttons one of them is basically the moving the object anywhere like to the right left or like further closer towards you uh, and then the second one is like how big you're gonna make your object and how small it is so in this case we're gonna keep it like that a little bit above the head so yeah let's keep it for now right here and on the right upper corner let's go and add material to that so do you see that plus sign you add it right here and it automatically go, went ahead and added this material so we will just like name it mat to the image image and let's go ahead and search for the image we were trying to add so in this case I will just yes add lamp image and it should be a PNG format so probably let's go ahead and maybe add this one I think I like that one save it save it lamp PNG save it on desktop God. Oops. Replace it. and let's go back to our project and so in the texture section once we click on the math to the image on the text image texture you will go ahead and like add, choose the file and let's go ahead and find our lamp and right there and showed up so you can go ahead and play and see a little bit let's move it a little bit so it's like right above her head Hey, I have an idea. I guess I will create an apple. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically it. That's what we have. We just added a 2D object above the person's head. We used face tracker and textures with materials. And that's basically it. In the further videos, we will be adding more stuff like 3D objects and maybe animating it. So, thank you.